What's going on, everybody? Hit or dismiss food reviews. I'm about to go pick up their Tuesday taco specials from this place right here on 7th Street. I'll get the address in a little bit. But they on Taco Tuesdays, they have $1.75 tacos. I'm going to pick up a five of them right now. Let's get it, y'all. All right, y'all. Welcome here to dismiss food review. I'm about to head up in Taqueria Los Amigos. It's at 515 7th Street, Allentown, Pennsylvania. You can order in or take out. They got authentic Mexican food. And I'm here to try their Taco Tuesday $1.75 taco special. I don't know what flavors they are. I know it's five different tacos. So I'm going to take you inside right now. Let's get it. All right, y'all. Here we go. Here's the name. 515. See if I can get in here really quickly. It's cold. It's cold. They got a bunch of stuff. They got DVDs and stuff. They got drinks. Hello. How you doing? I ordered uh, five tacos to go. They got a bunch of stuff in here. They have some sweets, as you guys can see. Nice sweets. Look at those in two seconds. They got the tacos there. They got candy. Stuff that you may like. Looks like authentic Mexican snacks. Some DVDs over there. Nice, beautiful atmosphere. Come on in and support 515 7th Street, Allentown, Pennsylvania, y'all. Let me pay, and I'll be back with you in two seconds. Oh, they also got snacks right here. I've had, you guys know I reviewed those before. And they got authentic drinks. So come out support Allentown. All right, y'all, got my tacos, let's get it. Make sure you come out support Allentown, 515 7th Street, Allentown, Pennsylvania. I'm coming outside, let me show you one more time. 515 is the address. That's the sign right there, man. Come out support Allentown, let's get it. I can't wait to try these tacos, man. You know what I mean? Taco Tuesday, dollar seventy-five taco. You know you can't beat you can't beat that. Oh, that's a nice little dog right there. Yeah, you can't you can't beat that. You know so. I'm out here representing Allentown. I'm representing you all, yo. Uh, I'm not doing nothing but trying to bring our awareness to all up and coming chefs and cooks out here in the valley. I'm trying to take this down on the road. I'm trying to take this strong worldwide, yo. You know, you never know. You got to start in your own, your own home, your own backyard first before you take anything anywhere else. You know what I mean? So I'm going to be out here representing for Allentown, y'all. That's where we get down out here. You know? If you're cooking, I'm going to try that joint. I'm going to review it. Um, like I told everybody before, if you're a home chef or if you're a restaurant, you know, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to actually make me a little mini platter, all right? It just needs to be samples. It doesn't have to be anything crazy, you know? Just a little mini platter for me to taste something and review it and send people your way. That's my goal. You know, I'm not, a, I'm not trying to put anybody out here out of business, you know? If you need me to pay, I'll pay. I don't mind that either, you know what I mean? But I'm just trying to represent for people. So if you make me a little mini platter for the love, I show the love back, you know what I mean? So, Allentown, Pennsylvania. Your new food review guy. Not new, you know, I went viral last year. But I'm back with it. We're going to go a lot, a lot, a lot harder this year. Pause. You know, we're just going to get out here and grind it out when it comes to the food, man. Home, restaurant, I don't give a damn what it is, you know. We're doing street food, brick and mortar restaurants, mom and pop shops, home cooks. I do snacks. If it's food and it's edible, I'm going to eat that joint. Got some new and exciting stuff coming soon, too. Um, but I cannot put those details out yet. Um, might be combining superpowers of a couple different shows and making one big show. But y'all gotta stay tuned for that, alright? Let's get it. Hit or dismiss. Welcome to Hit or Dismiss Food Review. Today we're gonna try Taqueria Los Amigos at 515 7th Street in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Let's open these jaws up and see what they're hitting for. Let's go. Alright y'all, we back with them with them jaws look like I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Look at the beautifulness of these tacos. As y'all can see right there, they got them labeled right there. So I'm going to give these Johns a good old smell test. Mmm, I just smell fresh tortillas, lime, and meat. So I got five different tacos, y'all, as y'all can see. They're all nice and labeled. You know, the pork, the pork and red sauce, Mexican sausage, cheek, and chicken. I like to explore different flavors. I'm not afraid to try something new, y'all. So if you got something you make, I don't care if it's brains, cheek, I don't care what it is, I'll try anything once, y'all. This is a little Taco Tuesday type of review. Each one of these tacos right here are $1.75. Yes, they're full of meat right here. They're not too shabby on the meat or nothing like that. 
As a matter of fact, which one am I going to try first? I'm going to try the pork one. Right here, the regular old pork one first. As y'all can see, they got cilantro on them. The meat looks nice and shredded. They got the authentic style right here, which will be the cilantro. Let me see if I can show y'all. The cilantro's an onion. There's the good old shredded carnita, the shredded pork right there. Um, they gave me a nice, uh, a, a nice couple of limes right there, so I'm going to give it a good old squeeze on the lime right there, y'all. You know how we do. And they gave two sauces. There's a red sauce here. And they got a green sauce here. Now, I don't know if that's green sauce or green tomatillo sauce. I'm going to open it up and try in a second. But, but most Mexican spots, the green sauce is a little bit milder, a little bit more flavor punch. And then the red ones don't have as much flavor, but they have some heat to them. You know what I mean? So what I'm going to do is I'm on half of the one taco. One bite, I'll use the red sauce. Another bite, I'll use the green sauce. And then I'll take one bite of just the taco itself. Let's get these joints to try, y'all. Let's go. Okay. Nice authentic corn tortilla flavor to it. The pork's not bad. Nice little freshness of the onion and the cilantro. So the first thing I'm going to try is the green sauce on the regular pork joint. A little bit right there. And I'm going to tell you if this is green sauce or this is green tomatillo sauce. Let's go. Mm. Good green sauce right there. That's definitely cilantro and it tastes like onion, cilantro, and a little hint of garlic. That's some good sauce right there, y'all. Green sauce is definitely a good one. Try a little bit of this red sauce right here. This looks like it got a little, little spicy spice to it, y'all. I'm not going to lie to y'all. So let's try the joint with some red sauce right there. Let's go. All right, y'all. That red sauce is nice, pungent, nice little, nice little kick up to the mouthpiece right there. You know, a little bit of heat. That pork rim right there. If I gotta rate that one, I'm gonna give that a uh, eight point five out of ten, y'all. That pork one was good right there. That that was just regular old pork, y'all. Regular pork. So the second one, let me see. Bear with me, y'all. Bear with me. So the second one I'm gonna try is. I'm going to try the pork and red sauce. All right. So let me pull this out. Oh, this one is fuller. This one is packed. That one is packed with meat and stuff like that. Pause. You know what I'm saying? I can see the little red sauce right there. Like every authentic Mexican taco. Let me hit it with a little lime. Bow, bow, bow. So, like last one, I'm going to try it straight up. One bite without nothing. Oh, this one's definitely different. In my mind, I thought it was going to be the exact same pork with red sauce. No. This, same authentic corn tortilla taste, nice freshness of the onion cilantro, but the difference is the meat. The last one I showed you, the meat was shredded. This one is more cubed, so it has more of a, uh, more of a pork texture to it, like more of a meaty texture to it. That's good right there. The sauce, it kind of tastes like a tomato base type of sauce. I'm not going to lie to y'all. So let me try it again with the green sauce. And then red sauce and I'll rate it. <laughs> this green sauce to start a damn show, y'all. That stuff's good. That's full of flavor right there, man. I ain't going to lie. That is that is some good green sauce, good. So let me try the red sauce. Let me, excuse me. Let me try something a little crazy, man. Let me go with some red. And some green together, cuz, you know. Let's mix it up on this thing one time, y'all. All right, now the last bite's red and green sauce. Let me see how this goes down. Good, good. That stuff's fire right there, y'all. That pork in the red sauce. You got to try that one as well, man. If I had to rate that one through 10, 
That one's going to get a nine on it. That's full of flavor. That was a good. That was a good pork taco right there with the red sauce. That was really good, y'all. And I'm not a big fan of like pork tacos because normally they're dry as hell. You know what I mean? All right. So the next one I'm going to do is, which one is this? All right. The Mexican sausage, a.k.a. chorizo, baby. Let me show you what that looked like. It looked like it got some flavor, cool. Look at that. You can see the redness on the tortillas. I don't know what they're putting in their chorizo, but it looks really, really fresh. Squeeze the good old lime. You know, we get down. So one bite right here. No sauce. Mm. That is some good chorizo. The flavor is hitting, man. Has a good flavor to it. You know how some chorizo is like overly salty? This is not salty at all. I'm actually kind of surprised. It's not salty. It's nice, mild, but sausage -y type of flavor. You know what I mean? That's really good. Normally, chorizo I try is really salty for some damn reason. So let me try it again with the green sauce. Mm. Anything with that green sauce. Look. You can put that green sauce on a damn tire. You're going to eat it. I know. Look, you going to eat it. Take my word for it. Mm. Hey, that green sauce for president, cuz. Damn, that's good. That sauce bite. Mm -mm -mm. So far, y'all, this place is on fire. I had to rate the chorizo 1 through 10. That was really good. It wasn't overly salty. That's really good. I'm going to give that a 9.2 out of 10, y'all. Fuego. Fuego. Is that taco right there. All right. So let me try another one. <laughs> let me try this one. The cheek meat, y'all. Cheek. Y'all eat cheek. Adds a little bit more of a... um. A little bit more, uh, I don't want to say slimier texture, but it definitely has a different type of texture. That's cheek, y'all. Y'all don't know what cheek is? <laughs> there you go, cuz. So let me get this. Oh, little, oh, hold on. Almost forgot my good old lime. Where's the other one? I got a runaway lime right here. Put a little bit of lime on the good old cheeky cheek right there. One bite, you know how it go. Now. If you're not a wild animal like me, you might not like this taco because it's cheek. But it has a nice, smooth texture. It's not as meaty as, obviously, pork chunks and pork because it's the cheek. It's a smooth, more mellow type of meat, more of a mellow chew to the mouth. That's really good right there. It has a little bit of gaminess to it, like a, as a cheek should. You know what I mean? That's good right there, though. Nice little cheeky, earthy type of flavor. So let me hit it with that good old greeny green. <laughs> Look, man. Put that green on the neck and you're going to eat the sneaker. I promise, y'all. Last bite of the cheek with the red sauce. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fire, y'all. That's really good right there, man. I ain't gonna lie. Right now, this food's so good. Somebody sent me a, uh, what's it called? A sombrero, man. Like, I need I need the big A, the B-A-H, the big ass hat. You know what I'm saying, y'all? That's what I need. So I can get my full Mexican mold. Everything about this little platter right here is super good right now, y'all. Super good. I'm not I'm not BSing you, man. For a $1.75 a taco... You guys saw how much fillings inside these tacos. I don't think that's a bad deal nowadays. Everything with inflation is through the roof, y'all. You're going to pay like $3.75 for a taco. So for them to still do that, even though it's on Tuesday, $1.75, you better, you better run forward, run forward, run. Get over there at 515 7th Street and get you some of these tacos for $1.75, y'all. I'm going to tell you that right now. All right. Now the last star of the show. Boyo, boyo. Chicken right there, cook. 
As y'all can see, the chicken has a nice little orangey look to it. I don't know what type of sauce is on there. Maybe it's the same sauce with the red pork. I don't know. So let's get this a try right now, y'all. One bite, no salsa. Definitely some nice shredded chicken. It's not tough. It's tender. Obviously, the freshness of the cilantro and the onion, you know, complements the chicken taco well. That sauce, a little bit tomato we type of flavor, you know what I'm saying? Let me do it, hit, hit this with the grain grain, with the grain grain. Mm. Mm. The second bite, I got that good, nice, authentic chicken flavor. Like this chicken's been slow stewing in its own juices, its own broth. That's what type of chicken this is right here, y'all. Mm. They must got abuelita back there. Sorry, I don't speak Spanish back there. Chefing on a pot, man. It must be all. It's like 12 hours of chicken just cooking, just stewing. Slow stewing. Mm. Good bite right there with the red sauce, y'all. Mm. All right, y'all. Rate that chicken taco out of 1 through 10. Let me get that at 8.5 right there, y'all. That's good good for the flavor. Everything I tried today is excellent, man. That's a good little taco right there. They're not being cheap on the meat because the dollar seventy five. You know, you go to a lot of spots, they give you like that deal, but they're taking 50% of the product out. Mm -mm. They're not playing right here, man. They are hooking you up. A nice, healthy taco. You know, I, I eat a lot, so I probably need like 10 of these joints, but these five right here puts a nice little dent in my stomach. You know what I mean? Definitely good flavor. I think it's worth a dollar seventy-five a taco. Obviously, you saw the five variety. You can only get those. You can only get those flavors of the taco right there. I'm not gonna lie. I do have a little menu. Let me um open this up real quick to see if they have any more taco flavors that aren't part of that part of this dollar seventy-five deal. Shall I say? All right. So, oh, they have adoba, carnitas, pollo, chorizo, beef steak. Cabeza, I think that's the head or, 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 or the head taco, cabeza, pork and red sauce, pork, chicken, Mexican sauces, steak, and cheek meat. No, 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 no. See, you already know I don't speak Spanish. I basically said, it's the same thing. I'm reading the Spanish side and I'm reading the English side. So adoba is the pork and red sauce. The carnitas is pork. The pollo is chicken, obviously. Chorizo is Mexican sausage. Beef steak is steak. And cabeza is cheek meat, man. Sorry, y'all. I've jacked that all up. But um, you can get the flavors that I tried today and reviewed for a dollar seventy-five per taco. I think that's a good deal. Um, what else they have on the on their menu is um, they have juices, they have they have breakfast. Oh, they serve breakfast, y'all. So you can get breakfast there. They have burritos with the same meat. They have enchiladas, flautas, tostadas. You can get tongue, all types of stuff. Oh, that's cool. And they got they got what's it? Soups. They got soups and they got quesadillas. They got some type of plates and they have tortas. I don't know if y'all can see all that. You know what I mean? It's better for me to just show y'all than me to try to sit here and butcher up the beautiful Spanish language because I don't speak it. But you can get stuff like that, y'all. Woo, it's good stuff right here. Once again, try Taqueria Los Amigos, 515 7th Street, Allentown, Pennsylvania. There you go. Make sure you come out there and try that. And you better make sure... Well, I think they give you the red and green sauce anyway. But just in case you get your little bag and you don't see that sauce, you better definitely spin back the block and get that green sauce at the minimum. But try them both. They're both super good. All right. Here's the star of the show. Woo! So my whole overall experience was, as you guys will see at the beginning of this video, the person behind the counter was friendly. Let me see what homeboy's name is on this receipt. My homeboy, Miguel, behind the counter. Nice, friendly gentleman, man. He helped me out. Um, very friendly. I paid with a credit card, so they take cash and credit, y'all. For those five tacos right there, I paid a total. Well, the total itself was $8.75. They kicked on the good old pencil tucky tax, and I paid a total of $9.50. But if you go in there straight up, $8.75 on a joint, $9.50 with tax, you get five healthy tacos. Five healthy tacos. That are good enough to feed people like me, so they're good enough to feed people like you. My overall experience right now, out of one through out of, out of one through ten, including the food, 
I'm going to give the overall experience over there of a 9.4 out of 10. This place right here. This place right here. Taqueria Los Amigos. The hidden. Hidden, hidden. Make sure you go try that right now. Let's 